and hello again people uh this is the fourth third fourth of the day today it's a 2017 ford focus st not just any focus st it's actually a uh, mount tune and no they're not just mats and covers it has i've just been under the bonnet tested the battery which is okay just needs a charge and it's got the full mount tune kit on it as well i might actually just show you guys that it's pr pretty nice looking um the problem with this one is there's an immobilizer issue no vehicle starts vehicle runs everything's okay but there's faults in the vehicle uh control unit the customer scanned it himself and they're relating to immobilizer communication faults um so he's just a bit concerned and he just oh 2.3 liter five cylinders isn't it it's going to be a five cylinder wow is it a five cylinder or not i don't know um i believe it is what an engine right um let's have a little look if this is a five cylinder this will be probably one of my favorite cars in the world currently on the road because the old five cylinders that i was in love with that i used to have was the audi quattro five cylinders the 2.3s so that's why i thought as soon as i saw the 2.3 i know the old some of the, the other sts had the uh volvo five cylinder which was it's basically the audi five cylinder same same design pretty much um don't get all tech on me on that one but they're basically the same thing um and yeah they are the best engines i think on the planet um other than a v12 or a v10 um the st straight five is just uh makes such a noise and has such torque they're just fantastic engines they're a phenomenal in the old audis talking about 80s 85 1980 1985 something like that um anyway enough waffling let's get uh let's get cracking with this and see what we can find um it's doing its thing i haven't seen how many faults have come up but luckily it's just finished now we'll have a look see what's going on so incorrect response from a mobilizer control module and then we also have just trying to turn the uh, fans off here i just turn it off oh no i don't think you can turn them off anyway um yes yeah, so incorrect response from secondary mobilizer module as well uh, lost communication with ECM control module. That's in the ABS. Battery voltage. Oh, see, I did say the battery needs a charging. I'm going to put it down to a battery. Um, well, though that issue is a battery it needs charging. Um, probably replacing, I'd say. It's going to be quite old now. Um, it's the original Ford battery. Let's have a little. We'll have a little look and see what I can get on this. I'm gonna have to just pause for a second. All right then, so as far as I can tell, they're all just control module faults. Module, mod, um, control module, control module, control module, control module. So four control module faults, one battery fault. What would that tell us? Also, that I mentioned the battery was at 24% or 26% state of charge, and it's seven years old, eight years old. The battery voltage currently is at 11.68 with the ignition on. Lights on is the smallest setting they can be. The lowest setting they can be, which is off. Sorry, I did set them to off. They just turned themselves back on. Uh, fan is now off because I've figured out that that's the off button, uh, and that no matter how many times you press down, it won't go off. Anyway, um, yeah, it's going to be, when you turn the key, when you start, this voltage is going to be going below 11.3, which is the control module's cut-off point, where it's, they won't work anymore, and for a split second, they're all losing comms. They're all going down, um, and they're not working properly, while during engine starting, because the battery is not fully charged. Um, so we will advise the customer what of the issue we'll see if they want to supply it for us to supply and fit a battery they've already told me they've had the battery tested and that's not that wasn't the problem but obviously god knows who tested it i have this issue all the time people not knowing how to test batteries anyway just because there's 12 volts in a battery doesn't mean it's fine anyway um we'll speak to customers see what they want to do 
it will either come out and do the battery or oh sorry or we will end the video here it'll depend on what the customer says so either way thanks for watching um oh my phone's ringing one sec sorry as i was saying yeah thanks for watching please like and subscribe and i'll give you a cheeky little look of the uh, of the engine let's have a little look seeing as we're done now we can have a little bit of fun there you go ford performance mount tune carbon fiber oh beautiful Big carbon fiber intake, induction kit. Beautiful. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Sorry, 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 guys. I always do this. I uh, was a bit hasty there. I've probably not explained well enough why I'm confident that that's going to be the fault. Um, it's probably it's a bit difficult to explain why I'm confident. It's just experience. However, uh, it could well be that there is an issue with even after the battery's changed these faults may well go however these may well stay because there is an aftermarket mobiliser fitted so due to the fact that it's on a CAN network it could well be that the aftermarket immobiliser is messing with the current immobiliser and even though the vehicle's starting and running fine it's just thrown up an, a, an issue it's not causing any engine management lights or anything like that it's just you know there is a fault registered in the control unit that's all um it could be like that forever and never cause an issue so again we won't know unless we clear everything um fit the battery sorry clear everything program the battery incorrectly get a correct battery for it and then test drive the vehicle uh, or wait on the customer to get back to us because he can scan it himself um but for now i'm gonna have to leave it as it is i'm very confident that the battery is going to solve these issues um if not all of them but definitely these these bottom ones with regards to uh control units not working correctly anyway thanks for watching see you again soon